Hi, I'm Christy and you're watching A Fostered Life and today this is just a catching up and checking in video to get back on YouTube after being gone for the whole summer. So I got some really sweet feedback from people on YouTube um, asking me where I've been, asking me if I'm going to make more videos, asking me, can you hear that hissing? That's my Instant Pot. Oh, I love that. I love my Instant Pot so much and it's just, it's getting, it's getting going, pressurized. Anyway, um, so if you hear the hissing, it's because it's reaching full pressure and cooking black beans for dinner tonight. I'm so excited. Anyway, um, that's what that noise is. It'll go away in a second when it finally reaches. There it goes. I don't know if you heard that. It's gone now. So I've gotten a lot of great feedback from um, people online and you guys have asked if I'm making more YouTube videos, if um, uh, one sweet viewer said I'm enjoying your podcast, which are cranking through on YouTube, but, um, but are you going to be doing any more videos? The answer is yes, I am doing more videos. I had to get through the summer, y'all. <laughs> five kids now. And um, this summer was great, but it was so rich and so full and there was just so much going on. And um, uh, we traveled, we were gone from our home for four weeks and um, had a wonderful time. But I just really decided this summer that I was going to devote myself to the kids and to giving them a great summer and to the flourishing foster parent. So any bandwidth that I've had for creating content, um, hosting support group calls or coaching calls, um, and that has gone toward um, the flourishing foster parent and my podcast. Let me tell you how that happened. Um, so I've been doing these videos for five years now, and, um, and honestly, I get a little tired of hearing myself speak sometimes. And... Um, my husband um, encouraged me to consider starting a podcast. You may not know that years ago I hosted a podcast. It had nothing to do with foster care. It was years before we were foster parents. But from 2008 to 2012, I hosted a podcast called um, I Am Conversations. And I mostly spoke with artists and creatives and people working in the arts and humanities world, um, scholars, authors. And I loved the podcast format. I love interviewing people. I love drawing out people's stories. And um, so my husband had said, you know, you loved doing that so much. And um, we both kind of agreed that we're at a point where I am less excited about talking about our family. Um, and the reason for that is very simple. Our kids are getting older. When I started this channel, um, when I started this channel, our kids were, first of all, they were, they were with us in foster care. They were not adopted, and we had no idea that we would be adopting them. I was a new foster parent riding the roller coaster of foster care without any kind of real access to good resources, and I just decided to start a resource for people who were like me to take the things I was learning and share them with people. And at that time, my kids were able to stay really anonymous because... Um, you know, we thought they were going to be returning home and we kind of envisioned, I kind of envisioned that we would be doing just like, we would have a steady stream of kids who'd come and go. We just didn't know what we had gotten, you know, involved with. And now it's years later, we have children who are permanently with us and we have others who are with us for long periods of time and they're older. And the bottom line is I want to protect their anonymity. I don't want to um, expose them just by association um, of being part of my life and part of my circle. So I've really kind of like shied back from wanting to share on YouTube um, and really being like public about foster parenting. Um, at the same time, I feel like there's such a need for this resource. I know there is because I hear from so many of you who tell me that you need this, that this is meeting a need for you. New foster parents who really, um, you know, need insight and, and need to know they're not the only ones going through the things they're going through. Also, people who kind of get into it 
well-meaning people, but who really need some perspective. They need perspective on birth families and first families and original families or whatever you want to call it. They need perspective on, you know, caring not just for foster children, but caring for the families they come from and trying to bridge relationships and be not just thinking of them, but thinking of their whole family that they come from and just some of the nuances of that. Um, there's, there's a need for resources for this. So this is why I, I'm still doing it. Also, people need support and community, and so that led me to do the Flourishing Foster Parent. But I am really mindful of my own children, of their right to have privacy, of their right to not be labeled as foster children for the rest of their lives just because they were in foster care at one, period, at one point in time. I will say all of my kids who are old enough to have any thoughts about this, they know what I do with this channel, and they're totally supportive of it. Um, I have one child who would very much like to be in these videos with me talking about their experiences and I've said no, not a chance because I know how cruel YouTube can be and this child would be, um, you know, setting themselves up for, um, you know, just all sorts of stuff that they're too young to understand and I would never put them through that. So my kids will never be on YouTube until they're like 18 and they can make those decisions for themselves. Maybe. 16. I don't know what the age of consent for YouTube is, but I just know that YouTube can be a wonderful and a horrible place. I've had some of the worst things that anybody's ever said to me have come in comments right here. And um, so I would never want my kids to go through that, through that, especially before they're really old enough to understand what they're doing. So if they turn into adults and want to do something on foster care or anything else, they'll be welcome to do that. But I'm certainly not going to have that happen here. I never understand people who put their kids on YouTube. It's just that I just don't understand it. But anyway, that's just me. There are like whole, you know, families where the whole family is on YouTube. And I'm like, why would you do that to your kids? But um, anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I'm back. And so somebody asked, are you going to do this again? Or what about the, you know, the podcast is great, but what about videos? I am going to do videos. Um, I wanted to share that I, I, um, I have a lot of other content that is available to people who are part of the Flourishing Foster Parent. Um, if you go to patreon.com slash a fostered life, this is different from before. I changed the little ending thing to just keep it all under a fostered life. But if you go to patreon.com slash a fostered life and um, you, um, there are two tiers and one of them is just for people who want to support what I'm doing here and just say, hey, I love your content. I love it so much. I'm willing to give you a dollar a month or more. Um, just to kind of sponsor, underwrite, um, folks who do that, you get early access to the podcast episode. So you get to hear it sometimes a few days before the rest of the world, sometimes just a few hours if I'm a little bit late getting it um, edited. But you get early access to that content and um, blog, you know, some blog posts that I'm only doing over there for a Fostered Life patrons. So consider that if you love this channel and you're finding this content helpful, consider um, supporting it for a dollar or more per month. I would really appreciate it because I do. I, I put a ton of time into it, um, but I also uh, pay for things, you know, that so this is this is all a labor of love, all out of pocket. And it's great when I can recover some of that. Um the other thing that I was going to say is, oh, yeah, yeah. And then the other tier is the Flourishing Foster Parent. And that is a little bit of an evolving resource right now. Historically, it has been um, weekly coaching calls with speakers who come on and or we'll go or or I'll be the speaker, but we're going through a resource together. So we did a summer book study. Um, and, um, and then I record that content most of the time and I make it available. I'm actually shifting that around right now. So if you're part of the Flourishing Foster Parent, that's going to shift and, and you'll get that information on that channel. Uh, you'll get that in the way that I communicate with you for the Flourishing Foster Parent. So that's, that's, um, happening too. So we have five children now in our home and for the foreseeable future and it's exciting and vibrant and hard at times and um oh i wanted to mention something i had a interesting exchange with someone on youtube i don't always write back to negative comments i just kind of try to gauge where people are coming from and if i feel like it could be fruitful i will respond um so i had an interesting dialogue with somebody who was not a fan uh recently you might find that in one of the videos i'm not even sure which video it was in um 
but someone had started a dialogue with me and I responded and then we had like a, a back and forth. And um, clearly this person was not a fan and was not appreciative of, at all of what I do. But I wanted to respond to the substance of what they were getting at because it, they were uh, common criticisms. And, you know, um, I know that everyone who watches these videos brings their own lens and their own experience. And a lot of people who've had really bad experiences with foster care um, right out of the gate, like hate what I'm doing and, um, and, and, you know, definitely don't appreciate what I'm doing. Oh, I'm just trying to look at the clock because I have to get my kids from school soon. Um, but what I, one of the things that, that they said, I assume it was a woman, but I'm not sure. So one of the things they said was, you make this all sound so easy. Like this is just so fun and easy. And I was like, lady or person, whoever you are, I don't think you've really watched my videos because I think I've been pretty transparent that this is not easy. <laughs> Nothing about this is easy, but it's hugely worthwhile. And, um, and I'm so glad that I'm doing it slash we're doing it. Um, my husband and I, and really our family, our whole family. So, um, so I just wanted to pop in here to say school's back in session. The kids are all at school. I'm able to put a little bit more time into this. Um, it, for those of you who know that I've, I started seminary um, at the beginning of this year, it's been going great. I have loved it. And I'm taking this quarter off because with the changes in our home, and everybody getting back to school and activities I'm doing with the school, I just needed to take a quarter where I didn't have school work to do. My plan is to, to get back to doing these videos. What I'm going to tell you, though, is that I'm going to do shorter videos here and then um, longer content at the Flourishing Foster Parents. If you're wanting more robust engagement, if you're a foster parent who is wanting some support community, if you are wanting longer content, longer videos, that sort of thing, you might consider getting over to Patreon and um, joining the Flourishing Foster Parent over there. Um, the biggest thing that you get there is access to live coaching calls. And I call them coaching calls just because it's, a, it's like a support group. It's like a place for people to come and join these calls and have questions and share experiences and feedback. And, um, and sometimes they're just asking me, but other times it's asking, you know, a guest that I might have on the call or the whole community sharing together. So it's a great, it's pretty great. And I've really enjoyed getting to know the other foster parents in that group. So you might consider that. And, um... And then um, I think that's pretty much it that I wanted to share today. But I just wanted to get back on here and to let you know I am still here, still working on stuff for you. If you're not a subscriber to the podcast, I would love for you to go over and do that. And if you like it, I would love for you to go over and rate it on iTunes um, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. This is giving me a chance to hear from other people Especially the thing I'm most excited about is hearing from a lot of former foster youth who, um, who are now adults and are, are either working on behalf of foster youth and able to kind of use their perspective to work on behalf of foster youth or um, they are foster parents themselves. And that's been pretty amazing to talk to people who are foster parents who are former foster youth and get their perspective. So the next couple, um, the next couple of interviews I have coming up are with people who are just their content, their, their insight and their thoughtfulness and their experiences are so informative. And I just am so grateful to be hearing from them. So you can look forward to those. Um, if you're in, if you're a, a patron at a fostered life, you'll get to hear those episodes early. So I think I already said that. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to end this video, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you for caring about foster care. And I will be back with some fresh content starting next week. So, um, look for that. If you're not a subscriber, please click, let's say here and you can become a subscriber. All right. I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.